can you play a backup QB in a divisional matchup? What game environment is the best and how can we leverage it? All that and more on this week's 3 and 3 podcast brought to you by DFS Army. What up, what up, what up, everybody? It's your boy DFS Up North, a.k.a. Josh Thomas, here with another DFS Army 3 and 3 podcast where I give you my three favorite leverage plays, one at QB, one at running back, one at wide receiver, all under 10% owned, uh, to help you take down the Millie this week. We crushed last week, and we are looking to do it again here. This is the video version. I've got a little bit longer version on the DFSArmy.com website. You can check that out. I put the link below, but boys and girls, let's get to it. You guys know the drill. You know the drill. Winners win at DFS Army. You can see that. You can check out our webpage, right? The guys are crushing every single week, winning life, changing money. These guys aren't sharks. They're not playing a ton of money, right? But they are winning every single week. Um, Let's get to it, though. I said in the opener, can you play a backup QB in a divisional matchup? And the answer is that, yes, you can, because I love me some Tyler Huntley this week, all right? If you're a DFS Army VIP, you know that I am a backup QB hater, all right? And most of the time, it's because A, they suck, or B, they don't fit the system, right? You look at Bryce Perkins last week, or a couple weeks ago, coming in for uh, Matt Stafford. Perkins is not a great passer of the ball, all right? The offense of the Rams is predicated on being able to pass the ball, right? Stafford's not a great runner, Perkins is. So when those two things meet up, it doesn't really mesh, right? And I think that guys tend to get over owned when they're backups. All right. Um, this week we get Tyler Huntley, who has started multiple games in the NFL and crushed games. He started, he's averaging around like 58, 59 uh yards per game rushing. All right, can throw touchdown passes, and he fits this offense. Huntley is a legitimate NFL QB in an offense that really fits his skill set. He is a Lamar B, right? Uh and the ownership is, is pretty low because he's priced like a normal starter. You're not getting him for $4,000, right? You're not getting him for $5,500 on FanDuel. He is priced like a starter, and I love that because I want all of this Tyler Huntley against the terrible Rams, or Rams, Steelers secondary, right? They are awful. Um, you can pair him with Andrews. That'll be the chalk play this week, but I kind of like D-Rob. He looked D-Rob's way a bunch last week. Uh, I, I think that Demarcus Robinson is a cheap wide receiver option that lets you fit in a bunch of other guys. And you get off that Andrews chalk. All right. So I am big, big, big on Huntley at running back. Ooh, my boy Zeke. All right. 6,100 on DraftKings is just ridiculous, ridiculously priced. Um, 8,000 on FanDuel. I think that's appropriate, right? But way too cheap on DraftKings given this one. He's like, look, him and Pollard are splitting snaps, essentially, right? They are splitting snaps. Um, So we get Zeke at similar price, half third of the ownership right this is a split backfield zeke has two touchdown upside when they get to the goal line they play him and he is still like we think of pollard is like the cast pass catching back zeke is still getting targets all right so i'm i hate split backfields but i think the leverage on zeke this week is just too good i am and the matchup obviously is outrageous um uh, against the texans so i am all over zeke this week at this price tag uh, i think this ownership could maybe climb a little bit but i don't care i think that uh again i'm i'm looking for the the 25 30 point upside like here's the deal pollard ceiling much better floor worse right i think that this could be the zeke show and we get to the best game environment of the week in my opinion and that is the lions and the vikings the lions are at home and favored against the 10 and 2 vikings against my 10 and 2 vikings uh and everybody and their mother is going to play amon ross st brown welcome to DJ Chark week for me, 4,300 on DraftKings, 5,700 on FanDuel, 5%, 7%. The Vikings secondary, it pains me to say, it pains me to say, but they are trash, right? And you cannot run on, like, okay, I take the back. You can run on the Vikings. Williams and Swift are are good plays, but the way to beat the Vikings, if the Lions want to win this game, they have to pass the ball. The Vikings are going to bracket with Harrison Smith. They're going to bracket Amon Ross St. Brown all the time. He's going to have to catch balls in the middle, contest the balls, and that is going to open up deep shots to DJ Chark. I am all over Chark this week. Goff loves him. Like, I think this offense is clicking. I love both sides of the ball here. I am, uh, I am stacking this game up every which way from Sunday. Uh, and DJ Chark is, I'm going to be, I might be 50% DJ Chark this week, literally 50%. So I am all in on DJ Chark. All right. 
like, subscribe. You like what you heard, right? Like, subscribe to this video so that you can get notified every time I post one of these. But if you want to become a VIP, why, right? I, I showed you the winners at the beginning. Obviously, you get content like this from me. But why would you want to become a VIP, all right? Use that code up north. You get 10% off for life, and you get access to our cheat sheets, all right? We are breaking down every single game, every single player, right? We're not every player, but, like, we're breaking it down and, and telling you who we're, we are personally playing this week. I rate this video. These three guys, like, I'm going to be way over the field on all of them. Um, I got Geek. I got Bob. Those guys are creating sheets every week. We do these for showdowns. That's another piece of content that I create um, where we break down literally every player there and tell you how much of each we want to play or how interested we are, who the favorite captains are, who the favorite MVPs. Um, but our cheat sheets, tiers, every, like, it's best in the business, all right? We cover it all. More importantly, though, our optimizer, all right? The DFS Army Domination Station is the most customizable lineup generator in the business. That sounds like a line. It's true, all right? Uh, I love it. I love it for showdowns. I love it for full slate. I love it for primetime slates, tiers. Like, it doesn't get better. It's not more customizable than anywhere else in the world, and our projections are on point every single week. And then you get the coaching, all right? Our VIP Discord gets you access to real coaches and pros that answer your lineup questions in real time. I was just talking to somebody about golf. I was, you know, answering questions about... Uh, the Thursday night game tonight between the Rams and the Raiders. So, uh, again, you get access to us in Discord. Send me a DM. Answer it in the. Ask me a question in the chat. We are there. We are chop. We are chopping it up. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is uh, be in there, especially pregame. Right, uh, talking about lineup questions, things like that. So, uh, again, use that code up north. You get ten percent off for life. In review, again, like, subscribe, and then tell me, who do you think is going to be the best under own play this week or the best leverage play? My three guys are, again, Tyler Huntley, a backup that actually fits the system, Zeke Elliott, leverage off the Pollard shot, better TD potential, and my boy, DJ Chark, who is going to take the top off the Vikings defense. I'm looking for 100 yards and a TD from Chark this week. Again, like, subscribe, use that code up north, dfsarmy.com. You can get the link to my free 10 under 10 article where I give you 10 of these plays instead of just three. Uh, have a great week, guys. I am looking forward to week 14. It starts tonight with the Rams and the Raiders. And again, if you want content for that, it's got to become a DFS Army VIP. Get in the Discord, get access to our cheat sheets for that right now. Cheers, everybody. Have a great week. <laughs>